What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion video creation tutorial for you. So in today's video I'm going to teach you how to create an animation where the sun moves across the sky um, like time is passing inside of twin motion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first of all, model credit. Uh, this is a 3D warehouse model from SketchUp. It's the Northern Prairie Home by Fu Guang Li. And uh, note that I did go in and make some changes to the terrain and also the materials and other things like that before I brought it into Twin Motion. Um, but what I've done is I've brought this into Twin Motion, and now what I want to do is I want to create an animation where the sun kind of travels across the sky. And so we could set this where it's either in the background or it's in the foreground over here, casting light this way. It doesn't really matter. But I just want to create a quick animation as if time was passing looking at this house. So obviously there's some things I could probably still clean up about this model, but uh, for this video I think it's going to work fine. So to start off what you want to do is you want to go down into your media option. So your media option is going to be the little uh, box with the little play button in here like this, and we want to click on the button for video. And so when we go to the button for video we want to create a clip. And so to create a clip you just follow the instructions here, which is click on create clip in order to get started. And so this clip right here is basically the only clip that we have in here. If we were to click play, all that would happen is the water would animate a little bit and it would basically do that for like 10 seconds because that's the length that we have. Well, what we want to do is we want to create two different frames with different sun positions. So to start off, what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to set my weather so I've got a little bit more cloudiness in the background so my sky looks a little bit better. And then I also want to set my sun location. And so in this particular situation, I'm going to assume this is going to be kind of a later afternoon evening scene. So I'm going to set this until a little bit in the afternoon. And then I'm going to go into the more section. Actually, no, you want to go into the more over here in your clip and you want to set your localization. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this so that my sun is kind of in the background. And so you can look up and find your sun. So you can see how by setting my north offset, I can figure out where my sun is. So I'm basically just setting the localization settings so that my sun is where I want it to be. And so now that we've done that, we want to go back to our clip and we want to click the refresh button. So we're just going to make sure that we save that sun location. And then now we've set our 10 second clip with our sun right here. Well, now what I want to do is I want to add a second clip. That second clip is going to contain my sun movement um, into its next location. So what we want to do is we've set our start sun location up here. Well now we want to set our end sun location like maybe right here. So what we've done is we've basically set this up so that the sun starts in one location and ends in another. So obviously I haven't had the chance to set up lights or anything like that, but for what we're doing here, we don't necessarily need that. So what we can do now though, is if we click the play button, you can see how the sun is actually animating moving down based on your time of day. So, and I kind of like how when it goes around the corner right here, you get a little bit of a, uh, you get a little bit of a ray effect as the sun comes across here. But you can see how what we've done is we've created this animation where our sun is moving. And if you wanted to, if you wanted your camera to move as well, then all you have to do is just kind of set this so that you've got one camera view, maybe right here. We'll just click the refresh button to update that. And then our second camera, we'll set that right here for our second camera. And so what this does is now if we play this scene, you can see how our camera will animate and move across and the sun will go down as we're moving across this scene. So you can see how the sun is animating the movement and time is changing while at the same time um, our camera is moving. So you can combine these different things together in order to create basically any kind of a time passing animation that you want. So probably what you would want to do, and I haven't had a chance to set this up, maybe I will if you guys are interested in it, I haven't really had a chance to set this up with any kind of artificial lighting or anything like that yet, so obviously this is really dark when we finish, but one effective animation that I've seen a lot of people use is going from daytime like this to nighttime like this and then having all the lights turn on as you do that. So we may do that in a future video, but for now, this is our 10 second clip of the sun moving down as our camera moves. So now let's export it to a video. So what we're gonna do is now that we're done with this clip, and just remember that the name is clip 02, we're just gonna go over here, click on this button, 
for the export settings and we want to select our clip. So and if you remember, we set this to be a 10 second video. So this is gonna render this and export all of these um, as a, it's gonna render all of the different um, individual frames in here so that we have a full video clip in here. And so if you're worried about the resolution, you can go into your video settings um, under your clips, whoops, video, create, clip, under more, under your camera settings, you can set your output size right here. So there's three different options in here. And you can also customize that by clicking on output size. So I'm okay with 1920 by 1080, but if you wanted to do 4K or something like that, you could do that. Just know that if you do 4K, it's gonna be a much larger video file. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna export this video. So I'm gonna click on start export. We're gonna select the folder that we wanna put this in. We're gonna click on select folder. And what this is gonna do is this is going to export this to a file. And it's gonna show you what the estimated time left is as it goes. Um, and just remember that the longer your video and the more frames you have in here, the longer this is going to take. And so if we open this file, I'm just gonna double click on it. You can see how this exports a video file that's 10 seconds long and your sun is moving and time is passing as you go. So you can use this to animate the passage of time inside of Twin Motion, and it's actually a pretty easy process. So like I said, obviously I need to add lights and other things like that, but I more wanted to show you how to animate the passage of time. You could also do this with other things like weather as well. So we may make another video about that in the future as well. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Have you been creating animations in Twin Motion? What's the biggest thing that you're struggling with with that? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.